So this is it. This is the 2005 Chevy Silverado Z71 Extended Cab four-wheel drive pickup truck. It already had several upgrades done to it, and I'm going to show you what those are real quick. First of all, it has this aftermarket brush guard on the front. We're not 100% certain what brand it is. It's built very well, though, because the strapping, everything right here, it's not thin steel. It's really thick. The way it's mounted to the vehicle, it's very solid, and it's definitely more of a brand name. It's not going to be one of your knockoffs. Secondly, it's got these aftermarket projector style headlights. I think they look really tacky. So does the new owner. I think he's probably going to end up ditching those and going to a factory headlight. Third, it's got a four inch lift kit. We don't know specifically which lift kit it is. It appears to be a pro comp lift. It also has some aftermarket shocks on it. The tires are 295 70 18 Pathfinder all terrain tires and the wheels are 18 inch pro comp alloys. It already has a set of Nerf bars installed on it, as well as a bed rail across the back here. One thing I really like about this truck, and I don't know if it was standard or if they added them, are these factory looking fender flares, these little extensions. I always like the way those look on trucks, and I think they really make the truck stand out. All in all, being completely black with just a few chrome and aluminum accents look really good on this truck. Now, not too many upgrades on the inside. It has an aftermarket Clarion CD player. The interior of this truck is in really, really good shape. That's the aux jack, so you can connect your phone or MP3 player. Remote control for the stereo. Very typical of older Chevrolet trucks. When I mean older, you know, anywhere from about 8 to 10 years plus, is the squeaking that you get with the plastics. And this is really common in pretty much any truck as it gets older. Uh, this is something you can easily fix with a little bit of white lithium grease or other type of lubricant that you can put on the hinges. But that's a pretty easy fix. Does have power windows and door locks. Cloth interior. Which this year, or this body style, the cloth interior actually held up really well. It feels real soft, but at the same time, you'd figure that it would have extra wear because of that. But these seats in these older Chevys held up extremely well. Has the suicide doors. Has a fair amount of back seat room, honestly. This front passenger seat is pushed pretty far back. If I slid it up a little bit. You have a good amount of room back here, actually. It's not too bad. They left the dark tint on the back, but they removed it off the front windows because before they can sell it, it has to pass inspection. Dark tint is a big no-no in Texas. The detailer did a great job cleaning off the surface rust and some of the old undercoating material. The frame looks really, really good on this truck. Even the front suspension area, they just really did a good job cleaning it off very well and this is the detail department so they didn't call a special company in to come and do all this and this is typically areas that might be missed when they're getting a pre-owned vehicle ready to sell this had the dark tinted lights right here and they cleaned the headlights off completely as well again to pass inspection and you can see they did a really good job you know, it costs only about 70 or 80 bucks to replace the headlights and just put an aftermarket factory style headlight in. So that's probably what he's going to end up doing because it gives it more of a cleaner, modern look as opposed to this strange aftermarket projector headlight that the previous owner installed. So he is on the fence about whether or not he should replace these mirrors with the towing style mirrors. What are your opinions? Put it in the comment section below. Should he keep these mirrors or should he put the newer style tow mirrors with the large spot mirror below it on? Pardon me, it's starting to rain, so I'm going to wrap this up pretty early. But the bed is actually in really, really good shape considering the vehicle's over 10 years old and it's got over 100,000 miles. I believe he's going to do a spray and bed liner in here as well. Probably a Line-X. The taillights on this truck were also tinted black, and as you can see, they removed it all. They may have actually replaced it because they are in really, really clear condition now. Well, there's a little bit of a chip right here, so these are probably the originals, but they did an outstanding job taking that black tint off of them. Tailgate is in phenomenal condition. They really got this paint shining. I mean, it looks great. It looks like it has a fairly fresh paint job. If you saw the original video, you saw that it had a big dent here across the side. So they have a kind of a dent doctor department here, which does a good job of removing things like that. But take a look at it. You can barely notice it's there. They did a really, really good job removing most of that dent and touching it up. 
just a really nice truck everyone for ten thousand bucks i don't think you could have gotten a better deal especially with all the repairs that they performed on this vehicle it pretty much has a muffler removed so it's pretty loud but it honestly sounds good if you can live with the noise level in the cab so let's see how this bad boy sounds when we crank it up And it blows really cold air. Air conditioner works perfectly. They checked all of that during inspection. The interior of this truck is just very, very clean. Stereo sounds good in it. Truck has a nice, nice little purr to it. This is a real nice truck, guys. I know a lot of people said not worth 10,000 bucks, but those are people who didn't see the truck didn't see what was done to it. And like I said, this truck had roughly $3,600 in complimentary repairs performed on it. And as you can see, 105,277 miles. Well guys, that wraps up this video series for the $10,000 truck. Next, we're gonna be moving on to a 15, 20, 25, and $30,000 vehicle. It's not gonna be in that order. It's basically gonna go in the order of whatever buyer I can find looking for that specific year, make, model of truck for a specific budget. Once we do, we'll do another video series on it so you can see what you get for another budget range. Hopefully it's gonna be the 15 or $20,000 range because those are also gonna be relatively difficult trucks to find. I hope you've enjoyed this series. If you haven't had a chance and you wanna follow along on the next series, go ahead and hit the subscribe button, give me a big thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again soon.